everyone. It is June 12, 2018. I just received this from a subscriber who lives in Canada, the Alberta area. Amazing supercell in Alberta, Canada, June 10. I'm not going to play any of this video. I think it's a storm chaser channel. So they're kind of notorious for giving copyright strikes. So, Alberta, Canada, you have been having pretty intense storms, A, eh? in the Alberta area. Winds have been pretty intense, flipping semis, barns leveled in Alberta after severe weather, central Alberta on severe thunderstorm watch, tornado touches down as thunderstorm moves northeast across Alberta. Wow! Three days ago, live east of Edmonton, Alberta with storms about to develop. Dramatic supercell in Alberta, Canada. Tornado crosses road in Alberta, Canada. And apparently, well, you are in for more storms in the Winnipeg area. In the morning, look into Thursday, severe thunderstorm set up through southeastern Saskatchewan and southwest Manitoba. The more complicated it seems, we have a lot of available energy in the atmosphere, but when we look at this region here, it's what we call a cap. There's so much warm air aloft surging out of North Dakota, it kind of inhibits storm formation in this region. So this region, we're not expecting storms to fire off early. North of that, there, there is a potential here for Gina northeast towards Yorkton. We could get a couple severe thunderstorms by mid-afternoon. And then the storms continue to push eastwards into parts of Manitoba, and they'll quickly become a linear complex of storms. Uh, that formation suggests the threat of strong winds along some of these storms. You know, uh, look, these guys have to be confronted. If you know of any meteorologists, you need to confront these guys. What? Are they signing confidentiality agreements where they can't speak about weather modification? You cannot tell me that they are not seeing what all of us are seeing on radar and satellites. Supercells. Supercell thunderstorms are perhaps the most violent of all thunderstorm types and are capable of producing damaging winds, large hail, and weak to violent tornadoes. When those moderate to strong atmospheric wind fields, vertical wind shears, the change in wind direction and or speed with height, and instabilities are present. You do the research on web modification and you will see that the research, they look at the instabilities, the perturbations, instabilities, and they want to control them. So, Alberta, Canada. This is Alberta area of Canada. And what has been going on in this area along with Saskatoon, Sask Saskatoon, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, Regina, Winnipeg. Well, what do we have here? In the area that that local meteorologist was just talking about, predicting all of these storms, you have fried storms. You see all of what they call sawtooth. It's like a serrated saw. Those are indications or signatures of frequencies being used. Ultra low frequencies or extremely low frequencies being used right in the area that they're calling for more storms. So, the ultra, or I call it ultra low frequencies, the extremely low frequencies have been pretty intense 
from the east to the west coast of Canada, all of Canada. And I have to wonder, how are you guys feeling up there? Because you must be feeling pretty bad. Because the extremely low frequencies can produce an awful lot of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Are we going to call them side effects? So all of the very defined lines that you see in this precipitation are ultra low frequencies. And when you see them begin to circle around, well, that's the next next rad harp signature. The high frequency heating with the extremely low frequencies, voila, what do you have? You've got either an earthquake, a cyclone, localized heating. You've got them creating your weather in Canada. I also want to bring you to what I have captured in Canada. In the Alberta area. This is June 8. Boy, the energy. That man is emitting right in this area has been pretty intense. All over. Now you can see the signatures of the frequencies being used when there is precipitation. And what you want to look for is very defined lines or the perfect circles. That is not how Mother Nature works, that's how man works when man is bringing you these violent storms. You can see all of the ultra low frequencies and I'll wait for that macho guy who has to make his muffler really loud to pass. You can see all of the ultra low frequencies in the faded green perfect lines or the precipitation that is blocked with a defined blocking. June 9, 6.40 p.m. Alberta area. You can even see the microwave frequencies when you see the ripple effect in the precipitation. You see those very defined lines? That means that man is controlling your weather, creating those violent storms. So the person in the semi truck and the person who owns that barn and all of the other damage, you can thank those who are creating. And you can thank your government officials, your military in Canada, in the United States for bringing you the destruction that you have to suffer. Wow, now that is a shot of a, I don't know, laser beam, microwave beam, scalar beam, an ultra low frequency being shot out. So this was June 9, three hours later these frequencies being set off for hours and hours at a time all over in the, in the uh, Alberta area all over Edmonton area where you've been having those violent storms you've got your meteorologist 
who are reading from a script. June 10, the supercell day. And you see that nicely defined circle. All of what I am showing you here are signatures of man's hand creating these storms. It's been going on for a very, very long time. Edmonton area, June 11. You can bet those storms are continuing. And when you see these ultra low frequencies crossing one another, that's when they can create an awful lot of destruction and wind, high winds, abrupt high winds. So June 11, yesterday, this is the Winnipeg area, Saskatoon, Regina. All of the frequencies right smack in your face. I just want to well, once again, leave you with some documents. Air Command and Staff College, Air University, Operational Defenses Through Weather Control in 2030. And let's read the abstract, United States Air Force. I tried to give you different documents with every video. The United States needs to incorporate the defense against directed energy weapons with the same intensity used developing anti-ballistic missile defenses. And advances in technology are beginning to bring weather phenomena under our control. Greatly increased computing power and micronized delivery systems will allow us to create specific perturbations, instabilities in local atmospheric conditions. And these perturbations allow for the immediate and lasting ability to create localized fog or stratus cloud formations. They can create any kind of cloud they want. And guess what? The future of nanotechnology will enable creation of stratus cloud formations. Let's see what else I have. Uh, atmospheric heating as a research tool. Wow, weather modification of storms is also described in this paper. Bernard Eastland the man behind HARP. Department of the Air Force. And this is the ar artificial clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. And they talk about how to create artificial clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. What else? Let me see. Tornadoes. Oh, wow. Weather modification by artificial satellites. They can, just with this one patent, influence the jet stream, cause precipitation, modify the jet stream path, therefore modify weather. They can cause rapid heating in areas. They can cause small tornadoes. And they can increase the strength of tornadoes, influence wind speed, direction of wind speed, torno, tornado mitigation, weather mitigation, weather modification, microwave heating of cold, rainy downdrafts with acoustic energy, extremely low frequencies. Acoustic waves generated by the air heating plasma pattern 
by oscillating the heating beam at an appropriate acoustic frequency. Well, that's what you just saw on the satellite images. They can create a high humidity air mass or form clouds. They can increase the moisture content of the air mass. This is very frustrating that we cannot get through to people when there is a ton of information documenting all of the research, all of the experiments, and the application of all of these methods to create these storms. I will leave you with this one video. But that is what you are seeing in Alberta. Man creating destruction for you to suffer. It was also Tesla who put man on his quest to control the weather. He developed a chilling theory for controlling the weather using extremely low frequency waves.